from a tiger getting revenge on a poacher to a bear that mauled its human tracker. This is what happens when hunters become the hunted. Stick around for number two because it's a story you'll never forget. Number 10. We're kicking this video off with a surreal story of a vengeful tiger and an infamous poacher named Baby. In 2016, Baby and several others were illegally brewing alcohol in the forest of India's Kerala region. A poacher and a bootlegger. This guy's a catch. As they were preparing their materials, they came across a tiger. The men shot the tiger, took her skin, and pulled her claws. Four days later, they returned to the same spot, and at one point, Baby was left alone while the others went to grab the alcohol. Those of you waiting for some tiger retribution probably know what's coming next. A male tiger emerged from the bushes, pounced on Baby, and mauled him relentlessly. The poacher subsequently lost his life en route to the hospital. One of the men that Baby was with was later arrested by the police. According to him, the male tiger could have been the mate of the tigress that they had earlier shot. He believed that the mauling was an act of revenge. Predator expert David Salmoning commented on the incident saying, quote, there's nothing more focused than a tiger who wants to eat something, end quote. Pop quiz, hot shot. <laughs> Which wild animal is known to hold grudges against those who hurt it? See if you can guess the correct answer in the comments below and stay tuned till later in the video to see if you're right. Number nine. Forget picnic baskets and lame sidekicks. Your average bear is one of nature's most efficient killing machines. While hunting in the state of Montana, Tom Sommer received a harsh lesson in grizzly hospitality as he and his hunting partner were charged by a grizzly. Sommer failed to pepper spray the beast. He then tried to use his pistol on the bear, but Yogi swatted that weapon right out of his hand. The grizzly went on to bite Somner's thigh, claw his arms, and grab his head with its jaw. At that point, all Somner could think about was that Leo really deserved that Oscar. <laughs> Fortunately for Somner, his hunting partner managed to grab and deploy the rest of his bear spray on the grizzly. Somner barely survived the attack and required 90 stitches to close the 15 inch wound on his scalp. On the bright side, Dunkin' Donuts offered him a lifetime of free bear claws. <laughs> Just kidding, that joke was crueler. <laughs> Number eight. Scott Van Zyl was an experienced crocodile hunter from South Africa who met his end in the jaws of the very beast he was tracking. In 2017, Scott's last hunting trip took him to the shores of Limpopo River. He was accompanied by a local and a pack of dogs. At one point, the pair split up to better their chances of finding crocodiles. The croc that Van Zyl found turned out to be quite steadfast in its resolution not to be turned into a fancy suitcase. Either that, or it went with its natural instincts of preying on anything with a pulse. Detectives believe that Scott met the business end of the infamous crocodile death roll. If the crocodile was a WWE wrestler, their finishing move would be the death roll. It's the most electrifying move in sports entertainment today, the people's elbow! <laughs> this is the Nile crocodile's favorite method of finishing off large prey. Once the croc clamps its jaws on its victim, it begins twisting its body and tears its food to pieces. The death roll can be repeated several times until there's nothing left of the victim. Later that day, only the tracker and Scott's dogs returned to camp. A search and rescue operation was launched, and it traced the hunter's footprints directly to a riverbank. One croc that was later shot in the area contained the hunter's remains, which were later confirmed by DNA tests. Number seven. Sam Kellett was spearfishing with some friends when he encountered the king of the ocean's predators great white shark. I'll spare you the gory details. It's enough to say that within moments, the water turned crimson. Sam's friends never saw the attack and only heard him yell. Kellett's body was never found. The authorities did find his spear gun, which had serrated tooth marks on it, an image of which was then submitted to Merriam Webster to be used as a precise physical manifestation of irony. Number six. Some poachers seem to forget that the African savanna has its own natural laws with some pretty ruthless enforcers. In 2015, 
Matome Malale and four other men were hunting with dogs on private property. As the sun was coming down, the group was charged by not one, but two lions. Three of the men managed to climb trees and wait out the onslaught, while a fourth ran for cover. Malale was the least fortunate of the bunch. He and two of the hunting dogs were mauled by the massive felines. Malale's abrupt end occurred right after the shooting of Cecil the Lion, so there was little in the way of support for the illegal hunter. Number five, Paul Smith. While on a hunting trip, Indiana man Paul Smith phoned his son and left a voicemail telling him about a scuffle he'd had with a deer. Hours later, Shana Lake State Park officials found his lifeless body beside a tree. So what happened in the meantime? After he'd shot the deer, Smith came down from his tree stand. He found that the animal wasn't dead, but very much willing to fight for its life. Smith ended the bout with his knife, but sustained heavy injuries in the fight. In the time before he left the voicemail and the park rangers found his body, Smith had succumbed to internal bruising and a lacerated liver. Number four, Owain Lewis. Professional hunter Owain Lewis was gored by the very Cape Buffalo he was tracking. If you're not familiar with Cape Buffaloes, just know that they're among the most dangerous animals on the African continent. Not only are they massive and exceptionally strong, but their horns are fused together to form a bone shield on top of their heads. This means that, like Ivan Drago, whatever they hit, they destroy. By some estimates, these buffaloes gore, trample, and or dispatch about 200 people every year. In 2012, in Zimbabwe, Lewis was accompanying an American client on a hunt. After having wounded a buffalo, they tracked it for three days. When Lewis approached the animal to deliver the kill shot, it charged him. Lewis was ragdolled through the air and fell on his neck. And then he died. Number three. Vladimir Markov. Few stories of animals taking revenge on their hunters are as chilling as that of Vladimir Markov. In 1997, he was hunting in Russia's Far East when he came across a stunning Siberian tiger. Vladimir, who was hunting without a license, thought he'd be able to make a lot of money by selling its skin on the black market. He took aim and fired his rifle, but only wounded the tiger, which then escaped into the wilderness. What happened next is straight out of a horror movie. The tiger stalked out Vladimir's cabin and destroyed anything that had his scent on it. Then the tiger, more patient than the most skilled hunter, waited two days for Vladimir to return. When the man arrived, this giant cat ambushed him. It dragged Vlad into the bushes and ate him. It was previously unheard of for a tiger to hunt a human in this manner. This incident echoed across the pond and inspired John Valiant's book, The Tiger, A True Story of Vengeance and Survival. It's answer time. So which animal is notorious for holding grudges? While several creatures are known for this type of behavior, the one I was referring to is the elephant. Elephants have a documented history of taking revenge on zookeepers, circus handlers, and even ivory poachers in the wild. As the largest land creature in the animal kingdom, they can trample anyone they want into a human pancake. Simply put, you better be nice to them because they'll never forget. Number two, Ian Gibson. If you're still not convinced about how dangerous elephants can become, perhaps this story will do the trick. In 2015, experienced hunter Ian Gibson was leading an expedition into Lower Zimbabwe. After spotting a young elephant bull in the distance, he decided to pursue it. Little did he know that the elephant was in must, which is a periodic state where a bull's desire to mate greatly increases its aggression. Testosterone levels can be up to 140 times higher than normal. Sounds like middle school. Gibson got too close to the horned up Dumbo. He was about 120 feet away from the elephant when it turned around and charged him. Gibson managed to fire one shot, but that didn't stop the raging bull. The 55-year-old hunter was trampled, and his life was truncated. Number one. In September of 2011, a hunting trip ended in tragedy for a 39-year-old Stephen Stevenson. The man was hunting black bears in Montana alongside his friend Ty Bell. Ty spotted what he thought was a black bear, but was actually a young grizzly. 
Remember number nine on our list? You really don't want to mess with the grizzly. Bell shot the animal and wounded it. Both men followed the bear's trail so that they could claim their trophy. They eventually found the bear, which was not only still alive, but really angry and looking for a fight. It charged Stevenson and started mauling him. Seeing that his friend was helpless to fight back, Bell fired multiple shots at the attacking grizzly. Stevenson was pretty much a goner by that point, but an autopsy did reveal that it was one of Bell's gunshots that did him in. No charges were brought against Bell. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Have you ever been attacked by an animal? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and check back soon for a new video.